because the Lakers are selecting Bronny James with the number 55 pick in the 2024 draft. Shocker. Not a shocker at all. That's where we thought he would go, let's, right? Let's be positive here and talk about yes. why he has a chance. And we are all rooting for him because he is an incredible kid who's dealt with things that he does not deserve. But he is a very good defender who can be a good shooter. He was a better shooter in high school than what we saw at USC. Of course, he has the heart scare. He doesn't get to fully prepare for the season. He starts it late. He gets thrown into a mix with a pretty mishmash kind of a bad team. Doesn't shoot the ball as well as he could. But we know from high school he's a better shooter. So you have to hope that the shooting improves to what we think it can, and his defense translates, and you get a 3 and D type of undersized combo guard. I mean, I have to grade this pick. How is a human being supposed to grade Bronny James to the Lakers at 55? I'll give it a B-plus because I don't want to piss anybody off. On either side of the spectrum here, the pro Bronny guys, the anti Bronny guys, I do think he has a chance. I will say, I think there are better prospects available. But if you're the Lakers... Well, and I will tell you this, you know, and we said this on the air in the last couple of days. I think we have to first say um, he was a potential, you know, NBA player, like he was on that path coming out of high school, okay, from Sierra Canyon. Uh, he has the cardiac arrest. We cannot... Like, dismiss that. I mean, he literally almost died. And he makes a remarkable recovery from that, gets cleared at USC. It's natural to just sort of find your your footing on the basketball court and, and play without a fear of something happening to you. Then you're on a team that's kind of eh, underachieving. You're not going to be ahead of Boogie Ellis, Kobe Johnson, uh, Isaiah Collier, and so, you know, you just don't have any kind of flow in your freshman year, health-wise, basketball-wise. Then you got to get cleared by the NBA, which he did because they have their own medical hurdles. Um, and I'm going to tell you, the day we interviewed him in Chicago, we had to wait for him to come back from the hospital. Like, he had extra, you know, just checking everything. Yeah, maintenance. And then he was cleared. So, and he participated, which by the way, he didn't have to do, even though, yeah, he's a second round pick. Of course he should, he should be participating in it, but he's also Bronny James and he had a health condition. So he could have gotten away without participating. And here he is, he's going to Lakers. You know, I have to believe at some point he'll be on the floor with his dad. Uh, uh, and we'll, and, you know, Hopefully he accepts playing some G League games because that's really where he needs to be to develop his game, to get the reps. So um, I wish him well. He's a wonderful young man, uh, high character. I thoroughly enjoyed speaking with him. So I hope it works out for him. Me too. And I'm glad that this is over with. I'm glad we don't have to talk about should he get drafted? Is anyone going to take him? I'm glad he's on the Lakers. Because they're going to, I do think they're going to play him. I, I mean, I think at some point they'll play him. It's going to be a special moment when they do. I mean, at some point it's more yep. than, it is a little bit more than basketball here. And at the number 55 pick, there's no risk. It's too, it's too special of an opportunity to pass on. And yeah, he's, he really is a, a special kid from, from the things I've heard and the thing that's the way he's approached everything and, and handled everything and, from a basketball standpoint, he is a good player. He was a McDonald's All-American. He played well. I mean, I watched him in Nike Hoop Summit practices. He was he was good. You know, he was he's it's not like he's a bad player. He's a good player in a world where you have to be so elite to make an NBA team. But uh, there is a pathway for him to get there in, in terms of you know being relevant and not just being LeBron's son. And and, and you know, he's handled everything with humility. Um, you know, none of us can imagine what it's like to be the child of one of the greatest players of all time. Uh, you know, I think back to Jordan's kids and the pressures they dealt with, 
where they weren't good enough, you know, and that's okay. But uh, I think one went to UCF and then I can't remember where the other one went uh, to a Valley school. I'm drawing a blank. Um, uh, maybe it was Southern Illinois, Illinois state, but um, you know, not easy to be in the same sport, the child of a iconic basketball player or whatever it is. Uh, and I think he's handled it well. And so um, now the onus is on the staff to handle him the right way um, because he needs reps. Um, obviously, there's going to be a moment when he plays with his father. We know that's going to happen at some point. But why not get him in a position to be successful when that happens? So I don't think it should happen on October 31st. You know what I mean? I think that's Let's exactly see right. see if that happens, you know, on February 20th or something. Um, that's what I would do. Let it organically happen, not, you know, on day one and throw him out there and here we are. A hundred percent. Because he's not going to be ready right. at that they're, point. They're going to slow play this and they're going to treat him like he's any other 55th pick in the draft. And I'm, I'm sure they're going to talk a lot about we didn't just take him because he's LeBron's son. I'm sure Palinka is going to go out and talk about the things he does really well on the floor and the things that they value. They're going to they're going to start him off, I'm sure, in the G League, and he's not going to play. And then it's going to be this buildup, getting him ready. And then there's going to be the day where he's active and he gets the call. So a very cool moment. I'm 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 very excited about it uh, for the family.